So I received a request, a very interesting request, to do a rant on myself. Now I have never heard this type of request before. I have never seen anybody do such a thing. I don't think anybody's got the balls to do something like this. Doing a rant on myself to fucking bash myself. It's bad enough that I bash popular wrestlers like The Rock. It's bad enough that I bash popular um, you know, things like in uh, society and, and uh, in entertainment. It's bad enough that I fucking exist. So now I will do what my haters always wanted me to do. And that, well, that's pretty much do the fucking rant on myself. So this is a self-hate rant. It's never been done before in YouTube history. Um, or at least I don't think. And if it does, if it was done before, it, those don't count because I, I can rewrite history if I want to. <laughs> All right. So anyway. We're going to start off, this is in uh, no particular order at all, um, I'll start with number one, I've been with too many fat girls, I went through a very strange period of my life that lasted a while when I was attracted to heifers, probably because they're easy to get, some of them, you know, don't believe the thing that they have low, uh, you know, self-confidence because... The thing is, a lot of them are pretty fucking bitchy, and most of the time it's because they're fucking hungry. And this is the truth. I once took a girl, once came to my fucking apartment. We did, we dated for um, you know a couple of weeks, and it was time to have sex. And what happened? Took a walk to the deli, went uh, too many blocks, and she was fucking hungry. Got fucking grumpy. I didn't think I was even going to get laid that day, but I did, and I still continued on, and then I just kind of broke out of the phase, you know, saw a couple more of these uh, fat chicks, and, you know, that was it. I met a, a lot of them online on uh, Plenty of Fish, you know, it was, it was a, a tough time in my life. I, I don't know what came over me, but, you know, whew. I'll tell you something, I uh, saved a lot of money on food, <laughs> you know, not Daniel's types of people anymore. <laughs> okay, then number two, I'm too damn short, in case anybody doesn't notice, I'm only 5'5", five, five. fuck, now my, my dad is normal height, he's 5'10", but my mother is four eight and a half. Holy fucking shit that I get the short end of the stick. And you can see what height I take after. Luckily, some of the jeans were playing tug of war. And I ain't end up that short. Imagine that. I was a tiny Mexican height like that. Even short in a fucking Mexican. Technically, midget fucking height. Luckily, I ended up at, you know, if not a good height at all, an inch shorter than Rey Mysterio when you think about it. Two inches shorter than Austin Aries, but still too fucking short. Too fucking short. You know, it's um, a lot of women out there, they want a tall guy, so, you know, got to try, you know, extra hard sometimes, you know. Uh, I don't, you know, you don't stand out when, when, when you're short a lot of times. It's, you know, I got over it, but hell, you know, wouldn't mind a couple extra inches if it was possible to go to some, like, donation bank like that. Like, you know, to, you know, donate sperm or some shit. If they, instead of putting sperm into you, I wish they could put height into you or some shit and make you fucking taller. But uh, it doesn't exist. Number three, I don't like sports. If you want to consider professional wrestling a sport, go right ahead. Then that's the sport I like. But other than that, I don't like sports. I don't watch basketball, don't watch baseball, don't watch fucking football. When I was younger, I used to be into basketball. I used to be pretty into basketball and not anymore. 
doesn't do it for me. You know, I don't like those type of sports. Um, you know, if you want to consider weightlifting a sport, yeah, that is a sport, you know. Um, more on the exercise uh, route, you know, or realm or whatever. But, yeah, don't like sports. Nothing with balls. I don't like balls. The only time I like balls is when I jerk off. Shit. Number four. I got a beard. Oh, beard. Not all girls like a beard. You know, the beard's scary. It's, uh, a lot of times it's associated with weirdos. You had people like Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber had a beard. Osama Bin Laden had a beard. Saddam Hussein, uh, yeah, like a mustache, but, you know, it's facial hair. You know, it's not always a popular thing, beards. You know, it, it, it incites a lot of anger within people. There's a lot of bad people who have beards and facial hair. So the beard sometimes is not the best thing, but I refuse to shave it. Because I'm a strong believer that every single man should have a beard. It's the most manly thing you could possibly have besides a penis. Ha ha ha. Anyway, number five, I'm white. Oh, man. White. Nothing could be worse than white. And now on top of that, I'm fucking pale. You know, it's no one likes that. And that brings me to number six, lame. White and lame. You know, when you're white and, you know, you don't try to act black or gangster, it's, uh, it's not good in today's society. You know, today it's... It's popular to talk uneducated. It's popular to talk in a lot of slang. And I don't do that shit. So, uh, yeah. White and lame. That's what I am. And then you got number seven. I look like a fucking Nazi. You know, not like super blonde hair, but dirty blonde hair technically. Um, you know, it borders on brown, but technically it's dirty blonde. And, and the fucking... Fucking blue eyes, I'm a fucking blue eyed devil right there. Holy fucking shit, a blue eyed fucking devil. Doesn't get any worse than that. You know, you, you got guys like Farrakhan. Farrakhan who calls people like me blue eyed white devils. Holy fucking shit. You know, it doesn't get worse. Hated by society for, you know, fucking this fucking eye color, man. You know what I mean? I. If it was up to me, I wish my eye was completely black. Because if my eyes were completely black, I wouldn't be accused of being a racist. And that's the thing about being white. We enslaved people and made them into slaves. It was the white people who did it. It was the white man who did it. And uh, yeah, it's bad to be white. Shame on me. Number eight. Can't sing for shit. In today's society, it's all about who can sing. American Idol, Glee, popular shows on television, people are judged by singing. Singing is, you know, the new sexy thing. You know, if you if you can't sing, then uh, you got no chance at living your life. You might as well fucking tie a noose and end it right now. I can't even fucking sing. When I sing, windows shatter, you know... Uh, cats start uh, fucking shrieking and dogs start barking at me. Can't sing, you know. So uh, if you ever hear me singing, you're probably going to want to run the other way. Number nine, I'm a wrestling fan. Nothing worse than a fucking wrestling fan. A fucking guy who that watches fake fucking wrestling. Guys rolling around in tights, which is very fucking gay. Watching guys... Fucking half naked. Look at the fucking program. The women are all fucking covered up. And uh, and then you got the guys who are all exposed. All bare chested. Bare everything. The only thing between me and the wrestler's penis is fucking spandex. Holy fucking shit. I must be a fucking homo or something. Watching this goddamn bullshit. Are you fucking serious? I like fucking wrestling. Not only that, but fucking wrestling is full of fucking, uh, you know, you go to a fucking arena, it's full of a bunch of fucking weirdos. Fucking people 
who are not even interested in having sex or, or anything like that. It's just all wrestling to them. You know, all, all these uh, wrestling fans, a lot of them are weirdos. Some people think that, you know, murderers like Chris Benoit are innocent, weird. You know, people on the YWC, the IWC, I make videos on here and all types of weirdos. I, you know, I associate myself with a bunch of fucking weirdos watching a fake fucking sport. It's not even real, you know, and, and on top of that, you know, it's, uh, it's gay, you know, guys touching each other in little tiny underwear. Number 10. Play too many fucking video games and spend too much fucking time on YouTube. You know, the problem is all this time that I spend at night when I come home from fucking work, coming on YouTube, playing fucking 360, I could be going out to the club, I could be getting myself a hot fucking chick, taking her back to my place and banging the fucking shit out of her. But instead, I'm on here on YouTube. And I'm fucking making vids, you know, not all the time, but I make a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, you know, it could be time better spent, you know, personally for me, you know. Um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of these videos, but I, I think I'd probably get more satisfaction out of getting laid or some shit like that, don't you think? And, uh, you know, I play video games and shit like that. It's, uh... You get achievements and stuff like that, but I'm I'm not really achieving anything in life by doing it. Well, there's ten reasons right there why I suck. All right, so that's been the first ever self rant here on YouTube, or at least I want it to be. All right, if you guys want any other fucking videos, uh, you know, go ahead and request them. Comment. Inbox me, do whatever the fuck you want, and I'll try to make the vid. Alright.